Hello there, Richard here from the TraderView team. And in this quick video, I'll show you how to use TraderView. So the first step, once you have created your new TraderView account, it's uh, to import your trades. And you can do that by clicking here in Import Trades, located on the top right corner. Um, it will then take you to the import section in which you can then select your broker or trading platform. So I'm going to do that. And in this case, well, in my case, I'm using Trade Zero. So I'm going to be looking for a Trade Zero. Um, once I select the Trade Zero located at the right, you'll see some instructions on how to get your CSV file, which is the file that has all the trading data in order for you to upload all of your trading data to TraderView. So I already followed those instructions. So I have already my CSV file. So uh, after you do that, you can either uh, click here and browse and, and look for the file or you can also drag and drop, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing now. And once I've done that, I click on upload and it should then take me to the trade section. So this usually takes a few seconds. Okay, so as you can see, your import has completed uh, 476 trade executions were imported so as you can see um, I have all the trades imported from my CSP file and I have a total of 147 trades so once you have imported your trades from your broker or your platform you will then be able to visualize all of your trades in the trade section and so what we can see here in the trade section is uh, basically a more detailed view of all of your trades um, organized in this case or sorted by date um, and the top what we see is a filter bar that allows us to sort and or filter by multiple criteria. in this case for example uh, let's say I want to take a look at only my intraday trades I'll then go ahead and click on the intraday here in the drop down and then click on filter and as you can see it's now green which means the filter is active and we are now taking a look at all of my intraday trades only. So if we then click on clear, it will remove that. And now we're looking at all of the trades. So let's say, for example, that I want to take a deeper look into this PACB trade. Let's go ahead and click here in detail. And so here we have a more detailed version or more detailed view of a specific trade. So we can see the dates, the time, uh, the shares traded, close gross PL, commission fees, close net PL. Um, you can also um, see the initial risk if you have any initial risk. Um, you can also add notes, testing notes. Um, and also you can use the note template that TraderView offers. Also, you can add tags, say for example, healthcare, which I believe PACB is a healthcare company. And let's say this was a swing trade. And also we can take a look at the execution chart. For if, for example, we zoom in, we can see uh, a more detailed version of how we executed uh, multiple orders in this long swing trade. Um, this is a daily chart and the green diamond represents buy and then the red diamonds represent sell buy and sell orders basically um, you can also select the time frame in which you wish to visualize the execution chart or the price action chart uh, for example here we are looking at a five uh, in five minutes and then we can also look at at 15 minutes or 30 minutes uh, we can also select the chart size and if we scroll down what we see is basically more trading execution data like we take a look at how our trade was like all the trade data that we basically did or all the decisions we basically did for example here is my initial buy um, and then I'm um, scaling out and then selling bits and pieces from my position 
and that's how I manage this trade. We can also uh, take a look at the quantity, price, position, commission, and fees. And if we want to take a like a look uh, at a specific execution, we can click here and view and chart, and it should be highlighted in yellow. Example here, this diamond here in yellow, it's uh, the execution that we just selected. So another important section in Trader View is the report section. So we can go there by clicking in the navigation bar reports. And so here we're adam automatically in the overview tab and we can take a look at our last 30 trading days, but we can also take a look at our last 90 trading days. Uh, we can also click here year, month, day and see performance by year, month, and even by day and then we can click on calendar and take a look at our trading month how it looks and if you want to go even deeper you can click on the month for example this February 2021 and we can take a look at the PL we did for each individual day and the amount of trades another important tab inside of the report section is the detailed in which we get statistics which is very inf insightful and here you can actually get a lot of value from the trading data you have imported to your trader view so you can take a look at things such as your number winning of trades number losing of trades um, your profit factor average hold time of your winning trades average hold time of your losing trades uh, your lar largest gain largest loss and much more information if you scroll down, you can take a look at date times, um, which allows you to see your results based on, for example, here performance by day of the week. You can see that Wednesday is the mo most pros profitable uh, day for this trader. You can see performance by month of the year, performance by hour of the day, and performance by duration, intraday versus multi-day, and performance by intraday duration, um, depending on the time of the day. So another very good section here inside of uh, the inside of the detailed section is the win loss expectation. Here you have uh, like another type of overview of how your trading is doing overall. Um, you have your win loss ratio, your win loss PNL comparison, uh, your the gain versus the losses. And so you can also take a look at the trade expecta expectation, cumulative PNL, and cumulative drawdown. So besides the report section, another great feature that we have is the journaling feature in TraderView. So if we go and click journal here located in the navigation bar, we can then see a summary of all of our trading days um, with more detailed information. And so here, for example, Monday, February 22nd, 2022, we can uh, get more information on what happened for that day. Um, for example, the close growth PNL was $16.97. Uh, we can see the amount of commissions and we see we can then see finally the close net PNL for the day. Um, we can take a look that we uh, executed two trades during the morning session and at the end we end up being green. And so another thing you can take a look at is the intraday running PNL chart, in this case a five minute one. So in this case, for example, in this intraday running PNL chart, we can see that the trader was performing really well during the morning session and then starting started to give it all back throughout the afternoon session. And so that is very insightful information you can get from TraderView, specifically the journaling feature. Another thing you can do, it's add notes here. You can uh, use either the uh, note template that we have, or you can add your own uh, notes. That's just an example. And so there is much more you can do with TraderView. In this tutorial, we just scratch the surface. And so we invite you to explore the tool. And if you have any question, feedback, please reach out to us at support at And we'll be more than happy to assist you.